Good morning everyone. It is Monday morning, the 13th of July. We're going to come together this morning and read Psalm 22. Let's hear this psalm. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Why are you so far away when I groan for help? Every day I call to you, my God, but you do not answer. Every night I lift my voice, but I find no relief. Yet you are holy, enthroned on your praises of Israel. Our ancestors trusted in you, and you rescued them. They cried out to you and were saved. They trusted in you and were never disgraced. But I am a worm and not a man. I am scorned and despised by all. Everyone who seeks me mocks me. They sneer and shake their heads, saying, Is this the one who relies on the Lord? Lord. Then let the Lord save him, as the Lord loves him so much, let the Lord rescue him. Yet you brought me safely from my mother's womb, and led me to trust you at my mother's breast. I was thrust into your arms at my birth. You have been my God from the moment I was born. Do not stay so far away from me, for trouble is near, and no one else can help me. My enemies surround me like a herd of bulls. Fierce bulls of Bashan have hemmed me in. Like lions they open their jaws against me, roaring and tearing into their prey. My life is poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, melting within me. My strength is dried up like some big clay. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You have led me in the dust and left me for dead. My enemies surround me like a pack of dogs and an evil gang closes in on me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all my bones. My enemy stares at me and gloat. They divide my garments among themselves. They throw dice for my clothing. O oh Lord, do not stay far away. You are my strength. Come quickly to my aid. Save me from the sword, spur my precious life from these dogs, snatch me from the lion's jaw and from the horns of these wild oxen. I will proclaim your name to my brothers and sisters. I will praise you amongst your assembled people. Praise the Lord, all you who fear him. Honour him, all you descendants of Jacob. Show him reverence, all you descendants of Israel. For he was not, he was not ignored or belittled the suffering of the needy. He has not turned his back on them, but he has listened to their cries for help. I will praise you in the great assembly. I will fulfill my vows in the presence of those who worship you. The poor will eat and be satisfied. All who seek the Lord will praise him. Their hearts will rejoice with everlasting joy. The whole earth will acknowledge the Lord and return to him. All the families of the nations will bow down before him. For the royal power belongs to the Lord. He rules all the nations. Let the rich of the earth feast and worship. Bow before him all who are mortal. All whose lives will end as dust. Our children will also serve him. Future generations will hear about the wonders of the Lord. His righteous acts will be told to those not yet born. They will hear everything. Because he, uh, they will hear about everything he has done. Amen. Psalm 22. Again, a psalm with so much in it. Um, just to pick out one thing from it, if you were listening and, and if you picked up on it, it's a prophetic psalm. Um, yes, it's a psalm where you can you can look and see the psalmist is um, struggling, maybe being oppressed. Um, the psalmist is, is having a hard time, but must keep on trusting in the Lord and the dogs keep on trusting in the Lord but in the middle of it all it talks about how my hands were pierced how um, I've counted my bones it talks about Christ it points us to who God is and who Jesus is and what Jesus will do for us it's an amazing psalm um, it talks about worshipping God it talks about how all generations will turn to him. Um, future generations will hear about the wonders of the Lord, it says. 
Um, let the rich of the earth feast and worship bow before him, all who are mortal, all whose lives will end as dust. Um, again, pointing towards Jesus and pointing towards his reign. If you think of uh, what Paul writes in Philippians, but I am um, every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That Psalm's talking about that. And it just shows us the wonderful way in which every part of God's word is connected. Um, how it, so there's one theme running through it all. And that theme is about God, about what he's done for us, about Jesus, about what he continues to do for us through his death on the cross, about how God wants to fix that relationship between humankind and himself so that we come and worship God, so that we can do what we're created to do. It's amazing just when you realise and you, you can see that the Bible really is one book with 66 chapters and not 66 randomly written books which suddenly has compiled together. There is that designing, creating hand right the way through everything. That's the God who we have. That's the God who we worship. The God who we were worshipping yesterday as we gathered for our, our, our digital service, our distant service. The God who we continue to worship today. You know, this is the day in our country whenever there's so much goes on. Um, a, d a day whenever there's going to be bands out and parading. A day whenever people worship what is going on that way. And they want that to happen. And yet their eyes are closed to God. Their eyes are closed to the, the love that God has for them. And the love which he wants to share through this whole world. I pray today that our nation would open its eyes and see that love. Let's pray. Father, thank you again for the wonders of your word. Thank you again for how complete it is, showing us what we need to know, showing us how much you love us and how much Jesus has done for us. Father, help us to open our eyes and see you. Help us to let you into our lives and then help us to share that love with others. Lord, we pray for peace and calm in our land today. We pray for sense to reign. Lord, just go with us now, we pray. In Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks. I will see you again tomorrow uh, around about 9 o'clock again. All right, take care. God bless. Bye.